Okay, so I've got my scan and cut machine turned on. I'm going to choose pattern. I'm going to go into the second along icon and then I'm coming to the second icon on the second row and I'm going to choose the shoe. I'm going to say OK and then from the options I am going to choose the last option which brings all parts onto the mat together and say OK. I'm just going to bring the shoe into the middle of the screen. I'm going to go to Edit, Object Edit and then down to Ungroup which now will separate the two parts of this shoe. If you don't have the ability to bring all parts onto the mat together, bring them on individually. Next, I'm going to say OK, OK again, Save, and I'm going to choose the icon with the computer and the Wi-Fi cloud. The machine is going to save the design for me. I'm going to say OK. I can now choose the home button, say OK to delete all patterns and turn my machine off and I am now ready to retrieve the design in both Canvas Workspace for web and computer. So I've logged into my Canvas Workspace for web online and you can see my browser window up here canvasworkspace.brother.com and I've already logged in. If I now go to my projects and select this tab, my design from the machine is here. I can now open it and here are the two elements of the shoe. It's given it its proprietary name from Canvas so I can highlight the numbers here and I can call it shoe and then I can resave the file by clicking the second icon along. It will ask me, do I want to overwrite this project or save as another project? I'm just going to overwrite it. I don't need to save it again. I can now say OK. When I go back up here to Canvas Workspace and choose this to come back to my main login page, when I go to my projects this time, here's my file now renamed as shoe. So now I'm going to show you how to retrieve the same design in Canvas Workspace for Computer. Okay, so I've now opened up Canvas Workspace for Computer on my Mac desktop, but this works in Windows as well and can be used on a computer or a laptop. And this is what you will see. I'm going to close the project window and I've just got a blank mat. What you will need to do now is go up to File, and you will need to come down to where it says import from your cutting machine and because the files in your cutting machine are an FCM file this is the option you will choose so I'm going to left click on that and it's now brought the shoe into my canvas workspace for computer if you want to save this as a working file on your computer, from here, you will come to File, Save. In the Save box that opens, give your file a name. Again, I'm just going to call it Shoe. I'm going to save it on my desktop and I'm going to hit Save. Now this will save it as a Canvas Workspace project working file, not an FCM file, which is how you save in the web. And here is the file I've just saved. If you want to save this as a cutting file, so you've got it on your machine, but if you want to save it as a cutting file on your computer, then you need to go to File, Export FCM, give your file a name. Again, I'm just going to put it on my desktop and hit Save. And this time, because you've used the export option, the file will be saved as an FCM cutting file. So I hope that answered the question. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.